So welcome to the channel. First video filming of 2024. Uh, wanted to start switching things up a little bit, keeping them like a little bit more raw and candid here and there behind the scenes. So uh, heading out today, just packing up, going to uh, go out to this old Royal Air Force airfield about an hour away to uh, scout and hopefully make some images. Uh, but this was a place uh, that I visited about three weeks ago and where things kind of like just clicked with a, a project idea that I've been toying around with for quite a while now. And it gave me this clarity and kind of sent me down this path that I'm really excited about with a, a project here moving forward for, yeah, like the foreseeable future. So going to pack up the gear, head out, see how this video goes today, just filming things a little bit more candid. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You too. All right. A little caffeine action. This is, to me, becoming uh, the Tim Hortons of England. Just much more expensive, which is not the best. Okay. One hour and 27 minutes. Enough messing about. Put on some miles. So the cold weather is definitely back here in England. Now that I'm fully adjusted to not living in Canada, zero degrees actually feels pretty damn cold. <laughs> so I've got like, instead of bringing one really warm coat, <clears throat> I decided to bring three sort of warm coats. So I've just put them all on basically is the, the plan today. All right, so I'm out at this uh, old airfield called RAF. Chedworth and uh, I actually didn't realize it until my most recent trip out here but I'd been here a couple years ago and I remember coming here and just thinking that there's really not much left. I do have the part of the original runways there's one here and one behind me that kind of intersects it and a few old buildings that have been repurposed for farm use but on my most recent trip here uh, I followed one of the the uh, walkways or trails not really a walkway, more of a trail into the woods and uh, I could see a bunch of old structures and buildings and there's like blast shelters and all sorts of stuff back there. I only had like 30 minutes of light, but it made me realize that uh, at first glance, you know, a lot of these old airfields, uh, it might not seem like there's much left, but as you look around, you know, they covered such a huge area of land that there really is uh, quite a bit to explore and in some cases some really interesting uh, pieces of history that are left. So I wanted to come back here with a little more time, go back into the woods, explore a little deeper, see what we find, see if there's any potential and maybe make a few images. So that's what we'll go do. All right, into the woods we go. So it's so interesting being here in the daytime, like I was saying, it seems like there's things everywhere. I was just setting up for a shot here uh, video, for video and then packing my gear up and I even just noticed right now there's something right back here. This could be like an old blast shelter. Go take a look. So that's exactly what it looks like. So you do see these quite a bit at these bases. This would be the escape hatch here and then the entrance over there probably a ladder in here could have been removed maybe looks like it is gone go over to this side and take a look the last place I went last week there was actually two of these still quite intact that I was able to go into some of them are a little bit sketchy others are okay though I can even see more stuff already <laughs> endless in here even right here old foundation from a building so these bases were just expansive that's really neat very cool it looks like someone back there has had a fire huge though these probably really hard to see because it's dark Wild, huh? All right, 
I'm gonna kind of stick to one thing at a time, go back, get my bag, keep heading down there to the first spot that I originally wanted to check out. So this is a pretty cool building. I think maybe one of the only that's kind of intact. And I think there's one on the other side as well. Again though, you would never know this is here. So this is the other side here and you can see this pipe running across to that building. This is actually a really neat scene. I love how the trees have grown in. And you just realize how much time has passed here. It's almost like it, that forest is taking back over. Okay, so I'm gonna set up and photograph this scene, but you know, if you've been watching this channel, you'll know that ever since I moved here from Canada, I've had like a, a pretty big interest in World War II history, just seeing all these defense structures around and stuff. But it always felt like a little vague, like there was nothing concrete there enough to like, you know, give me direction and get me excited about like a specific focus. And it wasn't until coming out to this spot and a few other airfields over the Christmas break uh, that all of a sudden things just clicked that like, you know, there is a project here waiting to be documented and also just like a depth to it that I'm pretty excited about, you know, more so than just like photographing the old structures themselves, but really digging into like the history of the RAF, even down to like specific locations and specific uh, flight paths and training areas and even people. Like I think it can just go in so many different ways for a variety of images and that really, really excites me. So uh, very much in its infancy, but this has been like a good reminder about the importance of just like following an interest and photographing a subject and just the fact that like you don't just come up with a, a project idea. I think a lot of the times you follow something that interests you and as you uh, pursue that things reveal themselves and eventually there is that one moment where things just click and it's like your aha moment of uh, specifically what that's going to look like. So um, yeah excited to just make images, come up to places like this, do research and see where things go and not overthink it too much right now. So I think we'll set up, shoot this frame. So I do really like this scene quite a bit, this composition. My initial gut feel is that this would be pretty cool with some fog or mist or something, but then I'm also always thinking like, does it need to be dramatic? Am I trying to just make things kind of louder than they need to be? The reality is, is like, this is British weather. <laughs> so maybe this is fine as it is, but I'm gonna shoot it and at the very least mark this down because I do like this image quite a bit. So we'll jump back into things in a second, just have to quickly talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. So this year I've wanted to place more focus on my website and that includes giving it a refresh and an update with new work. Something that is incredibly easy to do using Squarespace. They have a wide range of really nice professional looking templates to choose from, but then also they give you complete control of how your images are displayed, including gallery styles, image sizes, thumbnails, captions, and more. You can also customize all of their aspects of your site using their simplified drag and drop designer. It's giving you endless options for your business with things like online shops to sell your work or even hosting your own courses. So check out squarespace.com today, sign up for a free trial, test it out, and when you're ready to launch, you can use my link below to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, so this is what I love the spontaneity of getting out and shooting. I was just obviously uh, over there photographing that building and I uh, bumped into uh, 
a woman with her grandchildren. I started talking with her and uh, it turns out she owns all the property around here in this farm that I'm currently in. She uh, walked me over here about half a kilometer. There's buildings all across her property. She said I can just explore and photograph whatever I want. And she also said uh, in this building here, there used to be this old artwork that the uh, Air Force painted original artworks. It was a thing that was across uh, all of these bases and these buildings, but it's really hard to find nowadays. So uh, go see if we can see it. She doesn't know if it's there anymore, but she said it's down here. Oh, these buildings are definitely not in the greatest shape though. Apparently though, she said it was in this room and it's not looking like it's Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no way. There it is. Barely there, but it's there. Wow, that is so cool. That whole back wall. Oh, my fingers. The old fingers are not working right now. So the week before this, I found an old Air Force base on the East Coast and managed to get access and came across some incredible original US Air Force artwork from one of the squadrons, uh, including a big map on one of the walls with original signatures from some of the people stationed there. And it just really grabbed my interest knowing that some of this stuff remains. And I was curious if I'd find any more as I work away on this project, but I didn't expect it to happen this quick. Got like 45 minutes of light left. I'm gonna go look around. She said I can check out the rest of the property, but just knowing that stuff like that's out there, yeah, that's uh, that just makes me more excited about this. So let's go for a quick wander, see what else we can find. All right, so there's just buildings everywhere and just like, look at some of this stuff. Some old cars back here, this is amazing. So this is the old officer's or sergeant's mess. Even over here, I have the old door going in there. The building goes around. So yeah, this all makes what I was looking at earlier just seem interesting compared to these buildings and cars. And this is just, yeah, amazing. I'm gonna have to definitely come back. I'm gonna try, I might even put the video camera down and just try and see if I can make an image or two before this light's gone. What a place. I explored a couple of the other buildings, but decided to pull the plug on the day with the light getting pretty low, but definitely a site to return to with a lot more to see. All right, so back at the car, that wraps things up. Honestly, what a cool day, just like completely unexpected. This is what I love about photography. Um, you know, just the spontaneity of it, especially like this is a good reminder today for someone like myself who is such an over planner and trying to always, you know, determine before I go out if I'm going to find anything, which is obviously Im impossible to figure out. So this was a good reminder that like you go out, you go to a place and sometimes things happen and just, you know, so cool to bump into that woman, get access to her farm, come across that old United States Air Force artwork uh, in that old barn that's basically collapsing and just feels pretty special to be able to photograph that. Um, we just never know it's there and a pretty cool piece of history. So uh, excited about that one and uh, gives me even more energy for this project. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this kind of candid behind the scenes video. Thanks for coming along and um, I'm gonna get going. There's half a donut in there that I forgot about that I'm pretty excited to eat. So I'm gonna get into that and get on the road.
Talk to you soon.